expand each logarithm using the product law. In part A, expand log of x times y. We can expand logarithms using the product law. When the argument of a logarithm is the product of two quantities, we can expand the logarithm using addition. This is represented by the base b logarithm of m times n equals the base b logarithm of m plus the base b logarithm of n. Expand log of x times y using the product law to get log x plus log y. In part b, expand log of x plus y. Log of x plus y does not equal log x plus log y. Watch out! When the argument is a sum, don't expand the logarithm. Log x plus y is unexpandable. In part c, expand log of 3 times x plus 1. Expand using the product law to get log 3 plus log of x plus 1. Don't expand log of x plus 1 since the argument is a sum as we learned in part b. In part d, expand log of 10x. Expand using the product law to get log 10 plus log x. The result is 1 plus log x, since log 10 evaluates to 1. In parts e through h, condense each expression to a single logarithm. In part e, condense log 3 plus log 4. Reverse the product law to get log of 3 times 4. The answer is log 12. In part f, condense log of 2 over 3 plus log of 3 over 4. Reverse the product law to get log of 2 over 3 times 3 over 4. Cancel to get log of 1 half. In part g, condense log of x squared plus log of x cubed. Reverse the product law to get log of x squared times x cubed. The answer is log of x to the power of 5. In part h, condense log of x plus 1 plus log of x minus 2. Reverse the product law to get log of x plus 1 times x minus 2. Multiply the binomials to get the answer, log of x squared minus x minus 2.